Tom out here with Road Trip Reg. And Rich, where are we today, buddy? Uh, some kind of racetrack. Some kind of racetrack indeed. Yeah. We are at the Brickyard. We're at turn two. Well, why, you're turn pointing two. the opposite way of the way I got the camera. Well, over there, it yeah. says turn two. Hey, anyways, we are going to go into the uh, museum here, check it out. Buckle up. Seriously, buckle up. Yeah, we're going to be going awfully fast. Yeah, we've got to take a ride on the toll road.
just isn't taking a picture, it's filming it. It's filming me? Yeah, what do you what do you got to say? What are you gonna do with the two point two million? Spend it. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna party. We're gonna party, party hard tonight. That'll buy a lot of natty light. <laughs> was asked where the spotters are and I mentioned the small upper deck grandstand over here on the left hand side in the first turn those seats are actually the most expensive around the facility now how much do you think and go ahead and ask you know feel free to yell out any guesses how much do you think one of those seats costs Two thousand. Fifty thousand dollars. I heard one down here what was the guess down there one million? Wow, not quite that much. A Klondike bar. Klondike bar. Well, a little bit more than that, unless it's a really valuable Klondike bar. Two hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, that's it. That's it. But there is a catch. There is a thirty-five year wait just to oh, even be considered God. for one of those seats. So if you put in your request now, if you put in your request now. You might have a good, well, a decent chance of getting one of those seats for the 2056 running of the Indianapolis 500, the 140 running. And if you die before your chance gives up, does it get past time to your shoes? Well, that actually brings up a good point because some people will take, if they have really prime seats, they will will their seats to someone else in their family. That's crazy. I don't think there's another sports facility in the world that has the same type of emotional connection between sports facility and fans. Um, now I say that... The most used object on Rick Mirror's car, the rear view mirror. High speed racer here. Whoa, speed racer. <laughs> How's it feel? Give us some gas.
Well, the uh, Indy Speedway Museum took the backstage tour. What'd you think, Rich? I enjoyed it. I just wish we could have gone on track. Well, hey, maybe uh, sharpening your driving skills. Get yourself a sponsor. Could be you next year. Uh, Road Trip Rich. Be. What's your number going to be? 13? How do you know? Lucky number 13 for Road <laughs> Trip right. Rich. I started GoFundMe, maybe. There we go. Let's start a GoFundMe. GoFundMe. Get Rich. A race car. Get me Racing in. Road Trip Rich. Get me into the ND 500. Hey, this place is pretty cool, though. I, I suggest taking, checking it out. Even if you're not a huge uh, any car fan, a lot of stuff to see here. A lot of cool cars. There's a lot of history here. A there lot. But, you know, there's a lot uh, that came up for the years that helped. Oh, I can't even talk. You know, I can't talk. That's well, why. You know, prom, that's why I always have safety. to edit this guy out. What are you talking about? Safety and whatnot from from the well, advances yeah. they made on the yeah. track for the driver safety Not only goes that, on the to the. Uh, we saw cars in 1950 with uh, disc brakes. Yeah, that's safety. Right. You said for the track. No, I no. said for driver oh, no. safety. It started here. They used it here first, and then they put it oh. into production okay. cars. Okay, I get what you're saying. Yeah. All right. Hey, well, that's all I got, man. All right. Who knows where the toll road will lead to next? See ya.